so many people believe he's doing a good job on direct. And I've got to tell you, I agree with you. I'm picking it apart because that's what I'm trained to do. I'm seeing lies and inconsistencies. I'm seeing him tailoring his direct examination to address the issues brought up by the state, explaining them away. That's what I see happening. But he's coming across, I believe, fairly well. But is it enough to explain away the fact that it is not feasible for him to be at the scene of the murders minutes, minutes, three or four minutes before the murders? Then he miraculously leaves and he escapes murder. And then he comes back within the hour and lo and behold, he <laughs> finds the bodies and immediately starts lying. Is it feasible that Maggie's phone was traveling? What was it traveling, Sydney? Was it traveling at 45 mile, miles an hour? Was her phone traveling along with him? And then as his car shows, it slows down long enough to throw a phone out the window. Can his testimony overcome that? Well, as a matter of fact, if the jury grows to like him, if the jury grows to believe that he is credible, yes, it can <coughs> overcome even the facts in this case. 